Hi, I'm Cameron with Gale Force 9 Games, continuing our How to Play series of Dune. Today we are completing our look at the different phases in a turn, covering Phase 7, the Battle Phase. Whenever two or more players occupy the same territory, battle has to happen between these players, and will continue until each territory is occupied by either one or no players. The only exceptions are the Polar Sink, which is a safe haven for everyone, or players whose forces are separated by the storm in the same territory. For example, both the Emperor and Harkonnen have forces in the Pasty Mesa, but since the storm covers a sector between them, they cannot actually battle in this round. The first player counts as the aggressor until all the battles they are involved in have been resolved. Then the next player to the right becomes the aggressor, and so on until all battles are resolved. The aggressor gets to pick the order of battles that they are involved in, and in the case of ties, the aggressor wins. When a player is involved in a battle, they and their opponent each secretly form a battle plan. Battle plans include a number of different elements, and any one of them could mean the difference between victory and defeat. First, you need to secretly dial on the battle wheel a number from zero to the number of forces you have in the territory. These are the forces you will commit to the battle. And regardless of whether you win or lose the fight, these forces will be lost to the Talexu tanks. Next, you need to select a leader to fight. You can either use one of your leader tokens, or a cheap hero treachery card if you have it. If you can play a leader, then you have to include one as part of your battle plan. If that is impossible, then you have to let the other player know before revealing your battle plan. If you don't play a leader or a cheap hero, then you cannot play any treachery cards in the battle. If you do use a leader and win the battle, then you cannot use that leader in any other territory during the same battle phase. For example, Duncan Idaho cannot be involved in battles in both Haga Basin and the Minor Erg in the same battle phase. Finally, the last element of the battle plan is the optional treachery cards. Players can play a weapon treachery card, or defense treachery card, or both. Once your battle plan is set, then it's time to reveal it and determine the winner. Both you and your opponent simultaneously reveal your battle plans. The winner is the player with the highest total of the number they dialed on the battle wheel, combined with their leader's fighting strength. As mentioned, in the case of a tie, the aggressor wins. Of course, battles are really that simple. If one of the players played a weapon card and their opponent did not play a proper defense card, for example, a poison weapon that was not blocked by a poison defense, then the weapon is successful and kills the leader. If a leader is killed, they are placed in the Talexu tanks and do not count towards the total for that battle. Both leaders can be killed in a battle. The winner of the battle receives the total spice from all killed leaders. For example, if both Duncan Idaho and Princess Irulan are killed in a battle, then the winner, in this case House Atreides, receives 7 spice from the spice bank. After the battle, the losing player loses all forces they had in that territory to the tanks and must discard all treachery cards they used in the battle. They get to keep their leader, unless they were directly killed by a treachery card. The winner only loses the number of forces they dialed on the battle wheel. They can choose whether to discard or keep any cards they played in the battle. For example, in a battle between both Fremen and the Harkonnen, both players reveal their battle plans. The Fremen have dialed an 8, and using their powerful leader Stilgar for a total of 15 points, while the Harkonnen have used only 5 forces, and their leader Beast Raban for a total of 9. However, when we look at the treachery cards, we see the Fremen have played a poison weapon, 
which the Harkonnen easily blocks with a snooper. The Harkonnen player has used a projectile weapon, which the Fremen player can't block with their poison defense card. Stilgar is killed and removed to the tanks, while the Harkonnens receive 7 spice from the spice bank. The new Fremen total, without Skit Stilgar, is now only 8, one less than the Harkonnen. The winning Harkonnen player loses 5 forces and gets to keep both cards, while the Fremen lose everything in the territory, cards included. There is one last thing to remember, and that is the traitor cards. You'll remember the traitor card you received and selected right at the start of the game. This is when you get to use them. If you're in a battle and your opponent uses a leader that matches a traitor card that you have, you can call out treachery and pause the game to reveal your card. Revealing a traitor means you immediately win the battle and lose nothing regardless of what was revealed in the battle plan by yourself or your opponent. You then place the traitor leader in the Telexar tanks and receive their fighting strength in spice from the spice bank. You still get to keep the traitor card and can use it again. The player who had their traitor revealed loses all cards they revealed and all forces in the territory. For example, after the Fremen and Harkonnen reveal their battle plans, the Fremen announce they have a traitor card for Beast Raban. The Harkonnen player loses everything in the territory, and both cards, while the Fremen receive 4 spice for Beast Raban and keep everything. However, if both leaders are revealed as traitors, then both players lose everything. All cards, all forces, and both leaders neither player gets any spice. Remember, you don't have to use a traitor. You can always keep it secret for longer to lull your opponent into a false sense of security, or save it for a better opportunity. That's the end of our video on the battle phase. Thank you for watching. Dune is available on our online store with the link in the video description below. Remember to follow us on Twitter Instagram and Facebook for all the latest GF9 news and the next how to play video for Dune.